Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to make use of some of the things that we've been learning about uh, percent composition, how we can use it to help determine empirical formulas. Now this problem seems a little, uh, a little confusing at first, but it's not that bad. Uh, here it says that one of the compounds that we have contains iron and oxygen, naturally, and the mineral magnetite. Okay, so basically all that we know is that we got some type of what used to be known as a lodestone that's made up of iron and it's made up of oxygen. Okay, And they tell us that the sample that we have is uh, 2.447 grams in size. And they tell us that they analyzed it and they found out that it had um, 1.771 grams of iron. And they want us to see if we can determine the empirical formula from this. Well, we can, but there's a problem. Uh, they never told us how much uh, oxygen we had. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out what that is. So we're going to take this 2.447 and subtract the 1.771 from it. So you can do that by hand or you can just punch it on the calculator. I'm lazy, so 2.447 uh, uh, minus 1.4. Uh, 771 equals uh, 0 0.676. So I subtracted those two and I got that. So this is going to be 0 0.676 grams of oxygen. So these two will total this 2.447. Now, what we need to do next is we need to figure out these percentages, okay, so to speak. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to divide them by their mass, okay. Iron on the periodic table is 55.85 Fe. Oxygen is 16. That's 16.00 grams oxygen. Now remember, this was the given uh, mass Okay, and this is the uh, the molar mass that we found off the periodic table. Okay, iron is 55.85, oxygen is 16.0. Anyway, what that's going to give us is the the respective the respected moles. So basically, when we type this in 1.771 and we divide it by 55.85, we get this. We get uh, 0. 0. 0.03 one seven and notice that there is uh, four six figs and four six figs. So I want to try to get four six figs seven and then one. Now remember that's going to be moles of Fe. Now over here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to punch this in. I've got point uh, six seven six uh, divided by sixteen point oh oh and I end up getting this number, okay, which is 0 0.042 and now I've only got three sig figs, so I'm going to just go three sig figs 0 0.042 and then uh, sig fig rules of rounding is that that should still stay a 2 because it's even. If the number to the right is a 5, it stays even. So 2. And that's going to be moles of oxygen. Now, after you get this, after you get these moles, you're going to pick the smallest. Okay? So you get moles, then you pick the smallest. Okay? Now, the smallest one that we've got, looking at these, is this one. Okay? Because this is basically, if you want to look at it, this is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, hmm. This is actually the smallest one because this is, just look at the first number there. See, that's a 3 and that's a 4. This is bigger because, you know, 4 hundredths, this is 3 hundredths. So this is smaller. So we're going to take the smallest one and we're going to divide by the smallest one. So that gives 0 0.03171. And divide here by the smallest, which is 0 0.03171. Now, looking at that, this will give us just one 
FE. <laughs> There's just one FE atom there then. If we're dividing mole by mole, that's just one FE. Now, the problem occurs right here. When we punch this in, we've got 0 0.0422 divided by 0 0.0. 3171. I do that, I end up getting this 1.3308047. Now, that number, you know, we can only have three sig figs, so that gives us 1.33, 1 1.33 mo, well, 1.33 oxygens. Now, I to explain some things here. These things become important because what that's saying is this. That's saying that our formula is this. Fe1 O 1.33. And we know that we can't write a formula like this. We know that it's wrong. So what we need to do is we need to look at some things. Now, here's some here's some guidelines. On these decimal things, if you see uh, point 0.25 multiply everything by 4 okay if you see point 0.5 multiply everything by 2 if you see uh, point 0.66 multiply everything by 3 um, if you see point 0.33 multiply everything by 3 if you see uh, uh, 0.75 multiply everything by 4. Okay, and these generally are the ones that you would see as a decimal. So if you see these numbers multiply by these numbers that I've told you here, make note of them, write them down, and everything. Anyway, what I need to do then is I need to multiply all of this then by guess which number. I need to multiply everything by 3. So that means that this then should be 3 times 1 for my FE, because I'm multiplying everything by 3, and I should be multiplying this by 3 for my oxygen. Now that would give me 3 on my FE, and that would give me basically uh, 399, which is the number 4. That gives me 4 oxygens. So finally, my final answer would be, uh, whoops, my final answer would be FE304, and that is the empirical formula of magnetite. There you go, guys. Seems like a lot of work, but do some more of these and they won't be so bad. Alright, I hope this helps, but pay attention to this chart right here. It will help a lot.